me discussing financial concerns. Water, Gas and Light has asked the city of Albany for the money to tear down an old gas plant, but the city is wondering why they're just now being told about it with a September 1st deadline looming. Fox 31's Ashley Knight has more on that story. There is environmental contamination at the manufactured gas plant owned by Water, Gas and Light that closed back in the 40s. The Environmental Protection Division told Water, Gas and Light last week they have to start digging September 1st. The last 20 years, Water, Gas and Light has taken on the task of managing the cleanup at the manufactured gas plant and they just decided to come to us recently and say, oh, by the way, we don't have money to clean it up. Well, I don't like getting stuff learning about stuff at the 11th hour. Commissioner Bob Langstaff says that magic number is $750,000 just to begin. The entire project could be 10 million. And Commissioner Langstaff actually sits on the long term financial planning committee, which brings together city commissioners with water, gas and light board members. And what he learned from last week's meeting was water, gas and light hasn't put any money aside to help tear down these buildings. He says, frankly, he doesn't think the city should give them the money saying the money could be better spent building up the city's economic development. I want to preserve that money and I want to use it for a deal closing fund to attract a large manufacturer to Albany. It would be a game changer for Albany. Langstaff also proposed an amendment to the charter requiring the utilities manager to report directly to the city manager. It would also require the city to approve water, gas and lights budget each year. However, the motion was turned down. The mayor had asked that uh, she be given some time to kind of get some information from water, gas and light. Let us look that information over and then make an informed decision about how we move forward. The city will address the matter at a future meeting. Ashley Knight, Fox 31 News.